I was just a shearer's cook, travelling New South Wales cooking for the shearers. I had no experience in this role. I applied for the job because I wanted to be back in town. I didn't want to travel anymore and I got the job. 2009 I started, I now hold a diploma in financial counselling. I'm very proud of who I am and how far I've come. I guess my financial skills comes from life skills as well because I had to learn how to budget to cook for a team of 18. You can't just walk into any community and say, okay, I'm here, this is what I'm doing. You've got to go to the elders. You've got to find out what they want in community. And then you've got to build that respect and that rapport up to get that trust, giving them the choice, not us making the choice for them as a service. They come to you really scared. They don't want to show you, you know, their, their debts because they're ashamed. Seeing that smile after a couple of weeks of working with them, that gives me that satisfaction, knowing that, hey, I've done my job well. It hurts me to know that community is under so much hardship health-wise, as in COVID. We're still open. We're still offering services, be that via telephone, via Zoom, just working out different platforms that we can use to let our communities know that, hey, we're still here. They don't have the technology or the internet that's strong enough. So it, it is really hard, but I keep trying. I don't give up. Trying to overcome this outbreak. It's tough. It's very tough because um, I'm usually a pretty sociable person. I love to go and visit family. I love to spend time with grandchildren. I love shopping. If I'm helping someone else, then I don't have time to think about myself. I, I know I'm healthy. I know I'm, you know, getting up every morning. I'm, I'm coming to my desk. I'm, I'm doing my job and I'm helping clients and I'm getting outcomes. So as long as I can help someone, that's help, that helps me. Catholic Care, it's more like a family organisation. Everyone is equal. They're always trying to find things that will, will help us and improve us. Family comes first. I was always a shy person. I still get a little bit nervous when I talk because I don't have all those big jargon words. But through all the training that Catholic Care has given me, just pushing me to reach my goals, has made me the person I am today.